Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and today I'm going to do a quick video on how to translate incoming MIDI note data into outgoing MIDI CC data and I'll show how we can use this data to control knobs and other parameters in an external program. I'll be using Ableton and Massive for that part of the project. And if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have almost 10 hours of Reactor videos up for free. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is create a macro to send out a MIDI CC value. And we're going to have two inputs. We're going to have the CC number and the value to send. And we'll connect those to the respective inputs on our channel message module. The channel itself is going to be equal to 1 at all times. And in order to send our, our data, our message, we need to hit the top input with a constant value equal to 3. All right. So to trigger our value module, we're going to check to see if uh, the envelope that we're using to control our CC message is currently on. So we're going to use, first we're going to translate into an event, and then we'll, we'll use a compare module to check if our envelope is greater than zero. And actually what I'm going to do is compare it to, not to zero, but to a really small number because envelopes have a tendency to take forever to actually drop all the way down to zero. And then if the envelope is on, we will send a message to the trigger input of the value module using a system info module and we'll take the control rate clock out of that and feed it to the router. All right, and lastly, we need to turn our channel message to be mono, or to always active. However, since it's mono, you'll notice that all these polyphonic signals we're sending to it is creating this problem here, which you can see with this red X. This is an easy enough problem to fix. We can simply select the macro, right click, and choose the mono option. Now let's give it some data for the CC number and CC value. To get the CC number, I'm just going to use the incoming MIDI note number. And since the MIDI note data is a polyphonic signal, we're just going to grab the first voice from the note pitch module you can use uh, a from voice module to do this and just have a constant of one selected for the voice. And next for the CC data we're going to use a envelope, an ADSR envelope, and we're going to take the first voice of the envelope as well and give that to our CC send. So by default, our instrument is going to have four voices, and this will send whatever data is in our first voice to the CC data given by the note on that voice. I'm just going to take a moment to rearrange our panel here. And we can take this structure that we've just made and duplicate it for each voice of our ensemble. So, like I said, we have four voices, so I'm just going to duplicate this four times. And the second one we make is going to take data from the second voice. And obviously the third and fourth will take data from the third and fourth voices. All right, so we're just about ready to try out this contraption in Ableton and test out to see if it works properly. All 
All right, so I'm here in Ableton, and the method that I came up with to make this work is a little clunky, but I'm not sure if there's a better way. I couldn't find one. So we're going to need a total of three MIDI channels, and we're going to load Massive into the third one. And to start out, I'm going to create some MIDI learns on some of these knobs here so they're controlled by incoming CC data. So I'm setting up these three knobs to be controlled by CC numbers 48, 49, and 50, respectively, so that we can use MIDI notes 48 through 50 to control these knobs. All right, so let's just load up a sound. We can close this, and we're going to open up the input and outputs so we can uh, rearrange the MIDI ins and outs of our channels better. I'm going to, in the second MIDI channel, create a very simple loop just to play back some MIDI notes on our instance of Massive. All right, so in order to get the second MIDI channel to play notes on Massive on the third channel, I set the Massive MIDI monitor to in, and I set the outs from the second MIDI channel to go directly into Massive. And on the first channel, I'm going to load up our reactor ensemble that we just made. And we'll load in some MIDI notes between 48 and 50 so we can control the knobs. I'm just going to hit play so we can see that. We need to turn our MIDI inputs in massive to receive our reactor outputs as an input. As you can see, it's controlling the three knobs that we set up. All right, so you can use this technique to control any MIDI parameter with an envelope or an LFO or whatever type of data you like, really. I hope you guys all found this tutorial to be useful. Um, if you did, please check out our website, reactortutorials.com. We have a ton of text-based written tutorials and an archive of old videos as well. All right, have a good week.